This game is the Atom Smasher game. In lesson two, you will have introduced to your students the idea of subatomic particles, the electrons, protons, and neutrons. In this game, your students will practice identifying the locations of these three subatomic particles. Equipment you'll need for this game includes a large, clear playing area. Indoors or outdoors will work just fine and then a means for identifying the two locations that the students will have to be in uh, as play begins. The center circle you see here in our, di in our uh, uh, demonstration indicates the location of the nucleus of the atom. The outer circle represents the location for the electrons. You can use a hula hoop for the center circle or a small piece of rope, hose, or a piece of chain laid on the ground and then the same for the outer circle. If you're playing outdoors you can also use a sack of flour and just sprinkle in the grass the shape of the two circles. Play begins by you telling your students or re requesting from your students that they be in a particular location. If your students are, are out on the outer circle here, as they are right in, in our uh, demo here, they're in the position of being an electron. If you call out the name proton, your students will need to go to the center circle, which is the location of the nucleus where protons are. So if you say proton, your students will all dash to the center circle here. We'll see if we can fit them all into our little hula hoop here. Right, we can almost make it there. All right. Then for the next round, you might say electrons. And again, the students realize, well, they're in the nucleus now. They need to get out where the electrons are on the outer circle, in the electron cloud where the electrons are moving about. And then you continue. You might say, uh, this time you might say neutrons. And again, they realize they got to get here to the nucleus. And if you call these uh, rather quickly, your students uh, realize that they've got to be on their toes to get to those locations as quickly as possible. Now, a fun adaptation here is if you have them here in the center in the nucleus and they're you know set to go for the next round, they're thinking protons, neutrons, electrons. If you already have them there in the center, say a, a, a subatomic particle that will keep them there. So if they came as being protons for the next round, say the next one will be, and you kind of string them out there a little bit, you say protons, and they'll think, oh, I gotta go, but no, I gotta stay in the center. So that's a fun uh, variation of play. Another variation, uh, slight change in rules, is if you have your students in the electron position, get them out there, the electron position, and if you call electron again, uh, this rule variation says that if, you're, if electron is called again and you're already in an electron position, you have to change to the opposite side of the circle. So that's just kind of a fun, and the students will dash across uh, to the opposite side of, uh, of the circle. Now, it's important that your students are aware that this game is not uh, intended to be a contact sport. Your students should not wipe each other out as they move from place to place. If you've got uh, multi-age students playing and you have some high schoolers with some uh, smaller kids playing, a piggyback system might be something you think about where, where the bigger uh, kid uh, shoulders a smaller and then they make their way to different points in the circle. So once again, this is the game called Atom Smasher. The students are practicing the location, finding the location of the various subatomic particles in atoms.